I would say it's become a passion of mine to help people to feel vibrant and full of life while they navigate through our modern, often concrete jungles where so many people are living and working in fast-paced environments with an increase in comparison to 50 years ago in demands on our body's metabolism where we're constantly bombarded with news sources, with social media posts, with our family's requirements, with our work and our job and our lives, and then still find time for ourselves to decompress and do something fun that we love. Over the last two years, I've found that it's often a result of poor posture and poor biomechanics that are leading to us feeling tired, that are leading to us feeling so stressed out and feeling like we just can't get back that energy that we know we once had. So as I looked for a solution to help people to feel vibrant and to feel well again, I found that one of the most important things people could do in order to really feel well and vibrant and still keep up a modern, fast-paced lifestyle that's heavily reliant on tech, and as we enter this brave new world where more and more business and things will be conducted through technology, we need to be able to keep ourselves healthy during this process. We don't want to end up like that movie Wall-E where we're all in the little flotation devices and have literally no health or vibrancy or strength, but everything's taken care of for us. I mean, that just doesn't sound like an ideal future. So in order for us to live in a modern fast-paced lifestyle and still keep ourselves healthy, we need to be focused on correct biomechanics and posture. The problem is, is not that we're in the bad posture or in a wrong position, but it's the fact that we're in that position for a very long period of time. Now our bodies were brilliantly and intelligently designed to be able to do almost anything. You'll see examples of gymnasts, you'll see examples of people, of contortionists, of athletes that can hold or create some beautiful position that stretches the limits of the human body and they maintain their health. But the actual insidious and slow death or the new smoking is the sustained poor posture, which ends up over time causing a breakdown in our connective tissue and leads to a dysfunction between the brain and the body. This is one component of dynamic structural medicine, a term that I co-termed with my former employer at Caring Medical. Dynamic structural medicine encompasses how the curvature of the spine, the alignment of the bones, and the stability of each joint relate to human health and or disease. So you may say, well, how does dynamic structural medicine relate to the modern lifestyle? And how can I use some of the knowledge and apply it from dynamic structural medicine to make myself healthier? My focus has been on improving productivity for people who have to be on a tablet, have to be on a phone, have to be on a computer, whether they're doing it all day at home, at an office, or you're on the go, like working at a coffee shop, in the back of a car, or traveling, let's say on an airplane. Have you ever been on an airplane and tried to get work done? And you're in that seat and you're looking down like this and you're just so uncomfortable and you're really working hard to try to find the best position to hold everything in. So I searched the market for anything out there that might help people to be able to keep a good posture while performing modern activities like technology-based things. And the things out there are just not great. So you may have seen one of these examples of a prism glasses. And these prism glasses allow you to see where my hands are now while looking straight ahead. However, the field of vision is not that great. I feel disoriented after wearing them for a long period of time. I can't accurately assess what's in front of me or what's on the side of me. So these, while they do allow me to keep a good posture and see here, there are many limitations to the quality and the design. Then some of the other models that are on the market that were designed as lazy readers are, I think, even worse than the one that I just showed you. So this one is very heavy, it's uncomfortable, I feel a little bit like I'm swimming, I'm disoriented, you know, mildly as soon as I put them on. While they do allow you to see down, the limitations or the negatives 
outweigh the positives of being able to keep a good posture. I've been working exclusively with a design firm to create the best prism glasses on the market. So not only are we very close to entering our production phase, but we are so excited about this because we are conducting research to show how after you've worn our product for 15 minutes, for 30 minutes, and up to an hour, how your brain blood flow has improved or is better and how your brain is able to effectively drain off metabolic waste products while you are still sustaining an excellent ability to get your work done, whether you're traveling, you're at home, you're at a coffee shop, you're on the go, you just don't have that perfect desk setup where you normally work and you still need to be able to keep good form. So we look forward to keeping you updated on this project. If this is something that speaks to you and really interests you, put in your email address and we'll send you a 20% discount on our very first order, which should be ready in January. Thank you.